Hey guys, Mike from Broad Jam here, and uh, I'm doing something special today. I'm actually at home, my little home studio setup, doing some recording, and I wanted to do a review of a sweet product from one of Broad Jam's sponsors, and that's Icon. Icon's actually a Madison company too. These guys are right down the street from us and they're sponsoring some stuff in the six pack. So we thought we'd take a look at their products. So this is the Icon V gig. This is the box it comes in. And now we're gonna unwrap it. Okay. So here's some of the packaging for the V gig here. It comes with a USB cable. That's actually pretty convenient. It comes with looks like some software and drivers and stuff like that. And power adapter and here's the unit itself so let's take a look at kind of the, the unwrapping here of the v-gig unit so here is the unit itself looks pretty good presets tuner different scenes you can switch to pedals and then different looks like programmable stuff in the bottom and an expression pedal which is great for the wow wow wow. Now I'm a bass player, so I'll be recording bass. Usually I just record with this Lexicon Alpha, just a little cheap unit that I've been using at home, but thought we could try out the V-Gig. You can see here also, I got this stuff, all of the ins and outs, little uh, cord holder over there, power switch, USB, MIDI in and out. Let's the line outs, insert guitar in, microphone in. I assume if you have a quarter inch to XLR, you'd need for that. So think about that. It doesn't have an XLR on it if you're going to use it for recording vocals. Um, make sure you have a quarter to XLR adapter. All right, we're going to try installing it. I got a 2011 MacBook Pro. It's running Mavericks on it, so it has the latest operating system. And I'm about to install a CD. Okay, uh, in lieu of an instruction manual, it comes with a quick start guide. And so this is what we'll be using to uh, get it going. Mac. Do not connect it, so do not connect it yet. Okay, and then I'm going to... This is kind of a funny thing. It says Barry's in the box. Uh, Barry is their tech guy. I've met Barry. He's a really nice guy. And uh, that's funny that uh, they even give you... Now, that's cool that they give you uh, the information of the tech support person, like he's, in re he's a real guy. That makes you feel a little bit better. And I know because I've talked to Barry about Icon products I've used. I use the Gboard extensively in live use for triggering samples um, using Apple Mainstage and Ableton Live. And uh, Gboard's been pretty great. So uh, let's see. Okay, so this is the software that comes with the CD. This is the, the Icon CD, the V-Gig. And uh, you're supposed to open the Mac folder and then do the package there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in and uh, grab the audio driver, the Mac folder, icon USB audio, and do the package there. Okay. All right. And then once you install that, then the next thing up is the IMAP software. Okay. Let's give that a shot right here. IMAP. And we'll install that. Okay, so that looks good. All right, and now comes the part where we do the connection. Okay, and I'll get up to the V-Gig right here. USB. It takes the back of it. Is that USB B-type? So let's plug it in. All right, and this is not a USB-powered device, so I'm going to have to go grab this and then plug the power in and turn it on okay and since it's not a USB powered device you got a two prong plug and uh, that's what we plug it in okay and here once you plug it in here's a VGIG on you can see that uh, see some electricity here's some lights of so some things going on inside there and what looks like in, in the grill and then uh, here is pedal button pedal two Pedal one, I'm not sure what that's for yet, but I will find out. And here it's going, the expression pedal, nice and easy. Nothing lights up in the back, but you know it's on 
uh, because this little light right here, and then I'll turn on. Okay. And here's something we can all appreciate. Logic Pro found the V gig right away. Do I want to use this device? I think that I do. Yes. All right. Now here is the V gig IMAP software. Look in here. Um, select a controller you want to assign here. You know, that's how you do it like that. Uh, and, and the mode you want it in. Now, the mode, the default mode right now is Vandal. Now, Vandal is, uh, I think that is the guitar amplifier kind of software that comes with it. I won't be using it for that. I will be using it for um, Mackie, Mackie control so that I can control Logic with it. But you have those three options. You can use it for the Vandal, like their, their amplification software. Um, the guitar mode, which would be used probably if you use it for uh, live settings as a, as, a, as a guitar pedal. I mean, obviously with the expression pedal and everything, it's very guitarish pedal. And um, Mac is what you use uh, when you want to use it for recording, and that's what we're going to do for tonight. And user defined, um, I've done this with the, uh, the Icon G board, which just has eight of those knobs on it, the Icon G board. Um, it's actually in my band van right now. Sunspot's the name of my band, pretty sweet. I'll put a little plug at the end of it too. Um, uh, but that's, and so I don't have the G board with me to show you the difference between the V gig and the G board. But obviously the G board's just a board. I mean, this is a full on, I mean, recording device, expression pedal, kind of 10 buttons instead of the eight that are on the G board. Okay, but we're gonna settle it to the Mackie control. And as you can see, when you have it there, then the Mackie control setup for loop, rewind, fast forward, stop, play, record, the kind of things that you would use, um, you know, almost like one of these. You know, this is a this is an eye control from audio, and that's kind of just a little bit of a control interface that you can use. It was made for garage band and stuff like that, but I still use it in logic. But this kind of thing um, you can use with your foot, and that is the cool thing about the V gig. All right. Okay, so the other thing, and this isn't completely intuitive, but um, you're gonna wanna go into, so you can MIDI devices, and that's where you're like, okay, what are your MIDI out devices? And the MIDI out, this is where you wanna click, select the V gig here. Okay, and then I want it to be Mackie control, and then you send data. So this is where you, however you do this, however you decide to program each of these switches, um, you have to do the send data at the end, and that's, uh, how you get it to your G board or your V gig and then say send done and that shows that you got it. Okay Let's go into logic and see what we can do Okay, one Let's see if I go into the preferences. I'm gonna go to audio preferences. It's where we set up Wherever okay output device and input device. So the V gig all right, it's uh, it's already in there So logic found it um, that's it. I don't have to worry about anything else. That's perfect. So that's nice. And close that. And then let's see if we're going to make a new track. And we make a new audio track in Logic. And my input selection, input one or two, that's the inputs from the VGIG. And I'm going to do audio, so we'll do that. Create. All right. So you can see right here, I got my trusty Epiphone Goth. And that is the instrument that we're we'll plugging in to the V gig here. Let me go back and where we plug it in. Looks like guitar. The in is right here. So just stick that. Okay. And uh, this is my new track right here so record okay so that's and that's it record ready and um, now we're gonna try the different buttons and see if we can record and play and everything just like that okay so logic doesn't find it automatically so you'd have to go into the setup and uh, you can do is you install and it's set up as a Mackie control so you could do that add that um, to your logic setup and then okay and then you have to look, like do the assignments and stuff like that and uh, that would be in the way you can um, 
learn the different, you do that in the control surface, controller assignments. And this would be the kind of thing. So um, that F1, F2, F3, F4, that matches kind of up to uh, what we have. Hold on, let me move this uh, analog mood lead reverb out here. And that matches up to what we have in the V gig eye mapping stuff. See the loop, rewind, fast forward, stop, play. So those are what each of these things will do uh, when you come in to the controller assignments over here. And so you would say, okay, uh, I like to record and play. And then so here's the F1. And then if you go to the transport, this is where you find stop, play, record. And so then you would go record and then go into, and you can select here from the V gig, uh, put it in learn mode. And let's say I, now that it's in learn mode, um, I want it to do, I hit that button and then, okay, here is what's sent from the V gig, the input message. And, uh, that'll be what you learned. So we just made that one, the mute button. Let's say I want to do the play button. I want that to be the second button. So I'll click that and in learn mode. Okay. Well, that is now the uh, play button. And that's the kind of thing. So then you go into logic itself. And this is, a, I mean, kind of a tedious process to do it, but that's uh, the way the control surfaces roll. And then now when you hit the thing, it'll play. Okay, here's something that's cool. So I'm playing, play a string. So you can see, okay, are we getting a signal? Absolutely, we're getting a signal because they have a LED VU meter. That's right. On the thing itself, cool. Boom. Okay, now here's one thing. I just noticed it and I think this is a really cool aspect of it. You can see headphone one and headphone two. Okay, now that's totally cool because a lot of times when you're recording and getting everything together, so you got, you'll be listening through your headphones, um, you know, through your recording device, something like this, you know, you're used to this, this one headphone output, but then if you're, you're the person recording, you need the headphones and also probably the person who is doing the mixing wants to listen at the same time too. So having, two headphone jacks is fairly useful also make sure you have an adapter because they are quarter inch headphones okay let's play some bass okay here's one thing i missed before um, i was looking through the manual and actually so remember we installed um originally audio driver mac and looks like you need to get this control panel right here and you need to copy that to your computer as well um, and that kind of controls some of the let's see what well let's see what it does actually okay so I don't know it's in the way and that's the V gig like software control panel shows a little bit it's the playback mixer okay I'm not sure PCM1 and PCM2 if that's headphone 1 headphone 2 monitor mixer um, Okay, I'm not exactly sure what that does. I don't know if it does anything. Either way, uh, we're going to uh, now try to play some bass with it. Okay, so I did install Vandal, but unfortunately, I don't know if it's because this is OSX Mavericks or not, it's newer, um, but this wasn't, I wasn't able to get this audio unit working uh, inside, yeah, it couldn't be opened. Um, so I'm not able to try Vandal with Logic, but we do have the bass going through the V gig, and that is working nicely. So now we're going to try to give it a record. All right, here is the uh, sound wave of the bass that the V gig recorded, and. Uh, Sounded really nice. I'm listening to it, and um, it's an excellent quality. And so I would say that the V gig is an awesome recording device, especially with the two headphone output headphone outputs that make it great if you're like at home and your buddy's the one who's handling the record and stop and play and stuff like that. But 
if you want to take that time to figure that out for yourself, where you can be the one that does the record, stopping and playing, then the IMAP software can do it. Uh, I know I've done it with the G board. I wasn't able to quite figure out how to do it with the V gig tonight, but I was getting the MIDI input. Like if you hit the, you can see right down there, I am tapping and you can see that we are getting the MIDI input. So it's just a matter of, uh, and I know that a program like Mainstage, you can go in and you can program these buttons uh, right away and it's got a learn mode for whatever device you design for Mainstage um, for triggering samples and, and doing these kind of effects. And so I'm sure it's just a small little change where you can use this as a control surface in Logic, record, play, fast forward, and do all that kind of stuff. So you can do some hands free and just use your and play your guitar and things like that. And um, so I would say the V gig is an excellent recording device if you have the kind of need for something where you could look for uh, 10 different uh, switches. Um, I think the V gig would be a cool one to try. Plus the two uh, headphone outputs are great. The cool thing about all of those buttons is that basically it's as versatile as you want it to be. And so that's probably a lot of where the strength lies um, in that you have a completely programmable MIDI controller. It's not just a foot switch. It's not just a recording device. Uh, it's a fully programmable MIDI controller that you can basically do whatever you want with, program do whatever you want uh, in a program like Logic or Mainstage or anything like that. So if you're looking for something with a lot of versatility uh, that you can also use to record, I think the V Geek is definitely worth a try. So I want to thank the guys from Icon for letting me do a little bass work and set up a V Geek and things like that uh, with a very cool piece of equipment. One thing I was really impressed with the V Geek is that it was able to record right out of the box. I plugged it in, Logic found it no problem, and then we were getting up and getting ready to record right away. Now, if you want to use the IMAP, which is something very cool, and, I, and I've worked with it on a G board a lot. If you want to use something like that, that's going to require some more expertise. It's not for your entry-level GarageBand user. Nothing wrong with GarageBand, or nothing wrong with the entry-level. It's the fun of the, all of this stuff. But um, it's going to take a little bit of effort and a little bit of time to understand how to use these MIDI interface messages to be able to control your digital audio workstation. So that's going to take a little bit. Um, but if you're into uh, doing a little bit of work and getting a little bit technical, I think this can really be a dynamite addition to anybody's home studio um, because there's so much you can do because this is a MIDI board. It's not just a guitar pedal. It's a way to uh, control almost anything in music software, and that's really exciting.